Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're returning, you're welcome back. My name is Paula and I'm your go-to girl for everything selling on social media. I basically help you use your passion, your expertise, your knowledge to make money, to build a business that allows you the freedom to live life exactly how you want it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. You can get on my email list. I have a number of free stuff for you check the description you're welcome and we're going to go straight to it today i'm going to be sharing on how to leverage stories for conversions if you're new in the industry conversions are basically when a follower goes from just following you to actually buying from you if you're already if you've been in the industry for a while then you know exactly what i'm talking about because sometimes someone can follow you for a long time without actually becoming a client and it's because of one or two things number one they were never your clients in the first place but also number two because you have not allowed them to go on the journey of going from follower to client so your content is what's supposed to do that okay your content is what does the heavy lifting now when people hear about content they think immediately instagram posts like the feed posts the the carousels the reels but stories are so underrated and i sell a lot through my stories because my stories are a bit more informal they're where we have conversations right so i want to tell you the secret the secret guys is that conversions are sparked by conversation whenever you allow people know you and you in turn try to know them that's already half of the sales process gone okay so we're going to talk about how we can leverage stories to spark conversions because you can sell out a whole offer in your stories without making one single post on your feed most people will see your stories before they see your feed most people are already guarded when they're going through like the feed but when they're going through stories they know there's something more interesting more informal they're going to see the you that your feed doesn't exactly show and that is why that is the best place to sell okay how do you spark conversions on stories how do you get people talking how do you get to know what's on people's minds number one you ask a question right it might be a question related to their pain point that way you can understand exactly where it hurts it can be a question relating the kind of solution they're looking for some people are looking for a long-term coach some people are looking for an immediate fix that's how you know what people are looking for even beyond then you can find out how much people are willing to pay so you know the kind of spending limit your current audience have so you will be able to create an offer that works with them so you ask your question there are so many ways to get answers on your stories you use the stickers right you can use the poll sticker allows them to pick one or two options you can use the question sticker it's sort of like a quiz so you can have up to, up to four questions sorry up to four answers and the amazing thing about that is you they can all be the same answer i'm giving you industry secrets now they can all be the same answer but you know which language speaks more to people they can all be the same answer being yes we need your offer but you will be able to see which of the which of the ways you crafted the question or the answer the potential answer that speaks to your client so that moving forward that is the way you keep crafting your content are you with me i cannot use this video to explain everything that you can use to sell on social media which is why you should join me at the ready set sell bootcamp it's starting in july and it's for every business owner who is trying to go beyond just posting and leaving right who is trying to get sold out on social media who is trying to get known get visible and get paid if that is you then there's more details about ready set sell in the description but moving on second way to spark conversion in your stories is to share some little known facts now you'll be like paula where am i supposed to find little known facts calm down calm down i'm going to share i'm here to share the thing is, there are new things coming up every day. We're in the technology age. We're in the modern age where information flies fast. So number one is look for like the top people in your industry and follow them because they get to the news first. And then you can now share it to your audience. At least you'll be one of the first people too. Number two, you set up Google Alerts. I talked about Google Alerts in my last video and I talk about it a lot because it works. Every day at 4 a.m., I receive four Google Alerts. That was a coincidence. It's not like <laughs> I set it intentionally, but these four Google Alerts, 
one is for instagram marketing one is for content marketing one is for um I think it's social media in general, social media news. And the fourth is for copywriting, I believe. It's because um, these are the things I'm interested in. These are the things my clients are interested in. So it is on me to stay up to date so that I can keep them up to date too. So if you're able to stay on top of that, that's great. Also, you can use other forums like Quora. That's uh, conversations happen a lot there too. You can use Ask the Public to find out what questions people are asking. All of these are free, by the way. They have paid versions, but the free works as well. So my third way to spark conversions on your stories are telling a contrasting view. Now, I'm not saying be contradictory just for being contradictory sake, but you cannot possibly agree with every single thing that's going on in your industry. And if you don't agree with something, you should say it. You don't have to be the person that agrees with everybody. It's understandable if you're afraid of looking contrary. Okay, but contrary makes you stand out, especially if you know that you have solid reason for thinking that way. So if you have a different opinion, if you have an opinion that differs from what your industry thinks, I think you have a duty to say it, a duty to yourself to not shut yourself up just so people will like you and a duty to the people that trust you to hear what you think about stuff. Another way to use your stories to spark conversions is to reply the questions that people are asking, right? If you randomly, I think I would recommend that you do this about once a week, ask a question so that you get a feel of the people that are on your page, right? So answer these questions and these questions usually spark conversations. Other people will see that they're not the only ones with these type of questions or these type of insecurities or these types of pain and they'll want to join the conversation. Okay, you have to talk with your audience, not to them, not just go and drop what you know and move because people don't buy because of that. That doesn't move people to buy. People That, that doesn't make a connection. Okay, so you have to remember that the goal of this is to spark conversation, to start talking with people, what will engage people. Anybody that replies your, your poll, anybody that taps on it, they're already in conversation with you. So it is up to you to either continue the conversation in their DMs or reply them in public or just find a way to keep the conversation moving. Because if people are talking to you, then they are interested in you or what you have to offer. And it is on you to nurture that they might not buy from you immediately. Here's the thing you have to remember. If somebody doesn't buy from you immediately, that doesn't remove them from the potential clients. It's not a <clears throat> thing, right? Sometimes you have to nurture somebody. Some people might have already decided to buy from you, but they don't have the need that you're meeting right now. When they get to a place where they need what you're selling or where you have something that meets their need, it goes without saying that they're going to buy from you. This week, go on your stories, show up and show out. This is just a tip of the iceberg. The whole iceberg is in Ready, Set, Sell Bootcamp that's starting in July. If you're a business owner, if you're a woman who thinks and knows that she's made for more and you know, social media can give you so much more. I have so many selling strategies that have helped me build a business from my house, from the comfort of my home without having to break the bank, without having to sell my soul to social media. I'm ready and I'm excited to share it all with you with actionable tips with how to implement so that tech is not your problem, so that what to do to get what I'm saying you can get is not a problem. I'm ready and I'm here. I'm going to be there in July in that bootcamp to make sure that you take the necessary actions that you need to take for your business to take off. Look at me rhyming. Anyways, the details are in the description. If you are interested in this, the early bird price is still on. Early bird price goes out the window, again, pun intended, goes out the window, flies out the window on the 6th of July. So if you are interested in selling like a pro, in selling with ease, in selling without frustrations on social media, then you should attend this bootcamp. It is at a ridiculous price for the kind of value that I'm bringing. And you know that it is valuable, right? Because these are my free videos. And if you implement, I'm sure you're seeing a difference in your business already. So imagine what the paid bootcamp is going to be like. It is $22 early price. And that is 12,000 naira. So if you're interested, 
there's a link somewhere in the description i will see you on the other side all right thank you for watching if you're new here please subscribe join the family and say hi on instagram if you can i will see you guys in the next video bye